best investment that you could make or upgrade to protect your RV. And it'll try to keep it as level as possible when you're headed down the road. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.live. Have you ever heard that joke about RVs and earthquakes? Well, of course you have. Yes, it's a constant earthquake, and the roads, I think, in this country, unfortunately, are not getting any better. Plus, on top of that, if you've been watching some of our recent videos about frame flex or frame damage, and yes, our RVs take a lot of abuse on the road besides their own potential issues that they might have. So how do you protect your RV? Now, I recently watched this video put out by Gen Y Hitches, and it was a collaboration with Brinkley RVs. Uh, Brinkley RV is one of the new RV manufacturers that's well known for building great quality RVs and they did extensive testing with the gooseneck version of the Gen Y pin box that we have right here and what they discovered with a 100,000 mile test they actually have this test course up in Indiana that they just drive it around all these bumps to get to a hundred thousand mile test Pretty crazy, they had engineers there checking out everything. And what one executive of Brinkley RV said about the Gen Y pin box is that it was the single best investment that you could make or upgrade to protect your RV. And we agree, we just wanted to hear it from somebody else. And what we'll do is link to that video down in the description so you can check it out. It is definitely worth watching. And for more details about the Gen Y Executive Pin Box, let's head back to Missouri and E-Trailer and talk to Jake about the details. I love the Gen Y pin box. This is one of my favorite upgrades. Uh, Jake, tell us about it. So this, this pin box has got the uh, shock absorbing uh, torsion bars on the inside. So essentially it is a, um, there's triangular rubber pieces in this square. They're in the corners. And then there's a square rod that runs through the middle. And essentially what they do is when you're driving around the road, that square rod's going to try to twist inside those rubber bumpers and it's not going to allow it. Um, so what it'll do is it'll, it not only helps when you're, you're bouncing down, but if you're, it won't continue to spring. So it'll bounce up and it'll hit another bumper and it'll try to keep it as level as possible when you're headed down the road. Now we have a lot more videos coming out from E-Trailer, more expert videos, install videos, and more. So smash that subscribe button so you catch those videos. The most important part about these is that you get the correct one for your weight rating. So between your tongue weight and your total weight. Um, the total weight of this camper is 20,000 pounds, fully loaded. Um, now there is a 21,000 pound uh, version of this available but that for me that is too close to the max capacity um, and the the biggest thing with these is the tongue weight that's what matters because that's what's going to activate these springs uh, when we put this on and loaded it down the uh, they have a marker on this side of the fifth wheel or the kingpin that'll show you there's a red and a green zone so you can see that there how it's it's unloaded right now, so it's obviously fully relaxed. But when we loaded this up onto your truck, it was smack dab in the middle of the green. So this hitch particularly is rated for 30,000 pounds, so it's more than strong enough to withstand the weight of your camper. 
um, but the tongue weight capacity, because it has these springs, is between, they would like to see between 2,500 pounds and 5,500 pounds of tongue weight. That's the range you can fit inside of, and that means that you're right there in the middle, somewhere around 3,750 or 4,000 pounds. Um, and that's, that's believable with a camper this big, but that is what you're going to have to have in order to get the most out of this. If your tongue weight's only 1,500 to 2,000 for this specific one, you are, it's going to feel like just driving with a normal fifth wheel or a kingpin. Um, if it's over that, you're going to crush it and it's not going to perform. Now for the full install with all the details of our Gen Y executive pin box, I'll put the link to that video down in the description. How do we make RV life better? We use eTrailer.com. eTrailer.com has everything you need for your RV and camping and outdoor adventure. We have our hitch, the B&W Companion, which is awesome from eTrailer, as well as the Gen Y pin box and our tonneau cover, our bed cover, and more. Just scan this QR code right here to go directly to eTrailer's website and you can find what you need. And we will see you guys on the road. Now over the course of owning our Grand Design Momentum, we have had three pin boxes. In my opinion, the first two were junk, especially the Air Ride pin box not good was not happy with that particular one our third one is the charm is the winner the gen y executive pin box has been awesome now another thing to consider is suspension upgrades for both your rv and your tow vehicle now we have a full complete installation video with our independent suspension system at more ride coming up again make sure you subscribe so you catch that video now for our next video you can click right here